what's happening everybody well, welcome back to the test lake uh, so uh, what we're doing tonight something a little bit different we actually have two lures on the uh, chopping block tonight we're actually doing a head-to-head -head battle uh, so what we have for you guys are these these we have already reviewed this is the h2o express uh, square bowl crankbait and then also the uh the guggen squad flat banger yep the reason we're doing this is because one of you asked for it yeah brayden uh you you had commented that you'd like to see this particular head-to-head -head battle so uh we've already reviewed these lures if you guys are interested in those reviews uh links are in the description below feel free to go watch those videos and smash like on those uh what we're doing tonight with these though uh, we're gonna see how many fish each lure can catch for us uh schoolies aren't really running tonight so we're we're mm -hmm. going old school style we're attacking the docks we're attacking the cover we're throwing crankbaits in there and just doing what we love fish like this honestly yeah i know it's doing what we love to do we like to power fish a lot so you know we do a lot of crankbait fishing so um yeah so we're gonna start with the uh the flat banger um i think it's, yeah you got the flat banger tag. okay so we're gonna start with the guggen squad flat banger and uh, we've got a, a route that catches us a lot of fish usually so we're gonna run that route with the flat banger we're gonna come back and we're gonna do it again with the h2o express and at the end of it whichever one has caught the most fish for us uh, and we're we're combining our two scores right so if todd catches four and i catch six uh, that's 10 for whichever lure it was caught why'd you get six and i get four that's the way it usually goes that's the dumbest thing yeah. Second dumbest so thing. we're gonna we're just gonna see which one catches more fish for us and uh we'll pepper in our thoughts about it and you know give you guys a little something to think about as we're you know as we're fishing with this so let's roll it okay so we're starting off with the uh, the guggen squad flat banger i really like the action of the flat banger you know, I think it's got a nice tight pattern that it that it produces. Yeah. Um, it's you know you get a good you get good feedback on it. We talked about that in the review video. I think this one dives to this particular iteration of the flat banger dives to I want to say six feet. Yeah, you know, I, I do like the bait. I, one of the things I like best about it is that it's uh, it's a little narrower than the H2O. I, I, it kind of almost has that uh, that lipless crankbait or that rattle trap sort of feel to it. Uh, for as narrow as it is. Also, one of the details that I like about it too is that it, it does have the Guggen Squad logo where the, uh, the on the eyeballs, I think that's just a cool touch. But uh, yeah, I, I mean, I think the price of it is higher than the H2O. Mm -hmm. Not by a lot, but by some, I, it is higher, so. Um, but yeah, it, it's, you know, it's not a bad move by any stretch of the imagination, but yeah. It's a good concept. Um, Honestly, it's not my first choice of lures, though. No? Uh, no. I mean, it's good, but I prefer, I like the lures that have like a, um, a coloration on the bottom, like a orange or something like that. This is just kind of, it's a good point. You know, regular, just a whitish color, I guess. But you're right, though. I mean, it has a good t uh, tight pattern on it. It's a good concept. I like it. It's There's nothing really bad about it. It's just, I mean, the past two times I've used this, I really haven't caught too many fish on it. I don't know. It's, it's not bad, but it's, like I said, it's just not my first choice. Yeah. I mean, it does catch fish. I mean, you <laughs> no know. No matter how big or small they may be. Right, <laughs> yeah. It's uh, it's certainly, you know, you can, you can catch some decent fish with it for sure. I mean, that, that's just kind of how the, I mean, that, that's not, that's, I don't think that's as much to do with the lure as it is, you know, just kind of the way the fish are moving and which ones are hungry that night. But do you see anything that really sets this off from other lures in the arsenal? It's <sighs> a good question. Um... Yeah. Uh, the main thing that, to me, the really the main thing that sets it off is is the uh, the narrowness of it. I, I think that's yeah. where that, I think that's what results in that tight pattern um, that you can feel on the other end of the line. Um, it's honestly it's not as pronounced though that that tight pattern feel is not as pronounced as it would be on something like the DT6. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I think that one is just kind of in its own little world. And that's a, and and to be fair, that is a different shape of you know the bill on it yeah the uh, exactly. bt6 is round whereas this is more squared they i mean they did put you know uh, the guggens uh and who I, I think it's catchco that produces this um they they spent time they spent a lot of time on the detail of like the gills and the uh even the scales on the side of it but i think that's honestly that's probably more for the the customer than it is for the fish yeah, <laughs> so, so too, yeah. i don't think the fish gives a gives a rip about you know the detail of the gills or the <laughs> you know the detail on the, the scale colors yeah. and stuff like that i mean the color pattern or sure even the tie the, the signature on their eye yeah the the eye. logo in the eyeball is is not something obviously that the fish cares about 
but uh, you know, it's a nice touch for the consumer. So, um, you know, I think it's a great looking bait for sure, but you know, it's, to, you know, like I think we said before in the previous video, it's it's pretty average. Yeah. Um, yeah, pretty average. I like that. Yeah, average. No way that's coming out of there. <laughs> Maybe I'll get lucky. I don't know. Nope. On to the H2O. Actually, that's pretty darn close. To the Guggen? Yeah. I'm going to tie that on. Nobody's going to know. Nobody's going to know. They're going to know. How would they know? How would they know? How would they know? I can't. I can't. I just, I can't. Oh my god! On the H2O, I mean, not to be outdone, it'll catch small fish just like the Guggen one will. Yeah. Uh, the big difference, though, is that uh, the H2O leaves off almost every, you know, there's no logos in the eye or anything like that. It's it's a little more basic. It is a little bit wider. Um, it is a little wider. The, the bill is a little bit wider, too. This one also dives three to six feet. Off camera, I, I think I've used this one more than the Guggen. Well, actually, I take that back. I've used them about the same amount of time, but I've had better results on the H2O than I have on the Guggen. You get a tighter pattern from the flat banger, um, whereas with the uh, the H2O, it's it's more of a uh, you know more of an erratic behavior on the other end of the line. Like yeah. the tail, like you can see it when it gets up close to the boat. The tail kind of moves about quite a bit more um, than it would on the than it would on the Guggen. I think you know pound for pound, I think the H2O is a better lure myself. Yeah. Um, What's the price points on these things? Uh, I want to say the H2O is in the four to five dollar range, and the Guggen Squad one is in the seven to eight dollar range. Yeah. So, yeah, the I mean, you definitely get a better price point for sure, and we've talked about that in the individual reviews of these two lures. But, um, you know, the detail on the H2O is not as pronounced. It's it doesn't look like they spend as much time. You know, carving out the gills and really diving into the you know the scales and all that stuff. And for that reason, like I said, I, I can appreciate that from the you know the Guggen Squad bait, but um, I don't think the fish give a lick, you know, give a rip about that. You know, I think for me, if I had if if I had to pick one of the two, I would probably go with H two O. I really would. Um, just just because it you know to me it's always produced better results than the Guggen Squad bait has, and it's better uh, priced. It is better priced. I, I don't necessarily, I can't say that I have a problem with the Guggen Squad bait. It's just I always seem to have better luck with the H2O. For me, I, my decision would be go with, you know, going with H2O. Uh, certainly, we're not endorsed or sponsored by either one of these these two products. These are, you know, products we bought with our own money. But, um, yeah, so, uh, I mean, as far as final score in our contest tonight, uh, it, it basically rang up like this. Uh, the Guggen Squad flat banger produced four fish. Um, collectively between the two of us uh, the h2o crankbait or square bill crankbait produced uh, i think it's the crs crankbait it was called h2o crs or something like that um it produced uh six yeah so yeah and granted, none of them were outstanding fish but <laughs> still <laughs> none of the fish were super huge tonight by any means yeah so uh brayden there you go man there's uh, the answer to your question which one's better um, at the test lake, at least, it's the H2O. So, it's the H2O, six to four. It's hard, it, numbers don't lie. I mean, fishermen lie all the time, but I don't usually. So you're lying right now, so, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so the numbers don't lie. The, uh, the, the H2O CRS wins out for sure. So, uh, guys, yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna do it for us here at the test lake tonight with the, uh, Guggen Squad Flat Banger versus the H2O Express CRS, uh, square bill crankbaits. Thank you again, Braden, for the idea. Um, you guys keep the you know keep it coming. We we always appreciate that sort of thing. Make sure to smash like on the video for us. Of course, let us know that you were here. Yeah. Hit subscribe down below. That always too. appreciate the support on that. All right, guys. And hey, anything you want us to review in the future, head on competitions or just a simple test review, uh, please let us know. Absolutely. Absolutely. Guys, thanks again. We're the KC Bass guys. I'm Brandon. I'm Todd. Y'all have a good one.